Harold, um, you know, you guys have faced a lot of quarterbacks that are better mobile to get out of the pocket. Uh, how is it? It's almost like a week to week thing whether you want a quarterback to stay in the pocket or whether you want to flush him out of the pocket. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I guess it's just, you know, been our luck going against a bunch of mobile quarterbacks. Uh, obviously, it's another challenge this week. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously we want them to stay back there, but it is what it is. We got to still rush aggressively while, you know, obviously not letting them break down the defense by getting out the pocket. So, does that change like some of the principles of, of your pass rush? You know, when you have a quarterback like that that can just step up and run. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I mean, it's just another challenge. You still got to go out there and rush and affect the quarterback, but at, at the end of the day, you still want to try to try to keep him in the pocket. Ryan, I guess talked during the week just about. I guess you put play sixty to sixty one. And, uh, you know, he said he talked to you before the season about how many snaps you have to play. And he said you kind of welcome it, get yourself in as good a shape as you possibly could to take that on. What is your kind of mindset? You know, if I'm dressed, I'm, I want to be out there? Or, or how do you kind of approach a game where you want to get the best out of yourself? But Yeah, I mean, I mean, like, like I, I feel like I said uh, the last time, like I feel like, you know, we put so much into training and, like, getting your bodies ready for the season. And, you know, I feel like – when I'm out there on the field, I, I don't want to come off. Like, I want to be out there the whole game, you know, grinding it out the whole game. And I feel like, you know, I've handled it well. And I feel like, you know, if I just keep handling my business with everything that I do, you know, I'll be fine the rest of the season doing that. What do you do leading up to training camp to get yourself in? Is, is, it, is it on the bike a lot? You're running a lot? What, what are your, what's your conditioning program look like? Nah, I mean. I don't want to. I don't need to get into specific. I, I just train hard just to get ready um, with everything, nutrition, recovery, and then obviously the training part. But no, I mean a lot goes into getting prepared for the season. To Ryan or to Shane ever say, "Look, I know you want to be out here all the time, but you played you know 75 snaps already. Take a take a snap or two off. Did that ever happen?" Or? Uh, I mean it might have, but. I was probably asking to go back in. <laughs> I mean, do you feel the same snap 56 as snap 10, or how, how do you how do you kind of gauge where you are from a from a conditioning standpoint at the end of games? No, I mean, I, you know, I mean, just like probably everybody else, you give your all in these games. So I mean, after the game, like everyone's drained, probably mentally and physically. Um, but in the heat of the battle, like you're out there trying to win. So I mean. I don't know, like, I just know the guy across me is more tired than I am. So, I mean, I, I don't really think about it during the game. What do you think about Trevor and, and maybe what are, the, what are the concerns when you face a guy who, who's capable of maybe tucking it and running a little bit too? Yeah, no, nah, I mean, they've shown on film that they're willing to run him. Uh, and he's an effective runner too. So that's why I said, you know, it's just another challenge this week going against a mobile quarterback. Um, they'll use him in the run game and in the pass game uh, with his feet. So, I mean, it'll just be a challenge for us. But I think we prepared for it. Your on the field personality and off the field personality, like it's very different. Like in front of us, you're nonchalant, very reserved, very laid back. You're aggressive on the field. So what what is it for you that kind of like how do you flip that switch and, and, and take on that personality, that aggressive mindset, that aggressive approach that you have? Uh nah, I mean, I don't know to be honest with you. It's just natural. Like when I'm on the field, like I'm just out there trying to eat, just like I know all my boys are and we just feed off each other's energy and everybody's out there having fun. And I mean, and that's what it's about. All of y'all just eating together and having fun. Um, and I don't know, that's just second nature for me. Like when I get on the field, like I'm different than obviously what I am right now. Is there anything like you have a routine, you have music you listen to or, or something you do to get into that zone? Whatever the DJ in the locker room put on the put on the speaker, I'm listening to it. You talked to uh, Rashad Weaver at all since the injury? Oh uh, yeah, he was actually in here today. No, nah, I mean, He's a cool dude, man. I'm sure he'll bounce back fine. I'm sure he's going to train his butt off and get prepared for, you know, whenever he comes back. What's that, what's that like? You know, how's he, how's he dealing with it? I'm sure it's obviously very frustrating, especially for a rookie, I would think. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, I know it, it sucks for him. Um, but, no, nah, I think he's handling it fine. I mean, he was in there today, and we were chatting it up in the meeting room. So, I mean, I think he'll bounce back fine. What's the feeling as a pass rusher when you get your – you work so hard to get there, when you get your hands on the quarterback – what kind of goes through your mind? <laughs> Does it take him to the ground? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Like, nothing really goes through my mind. Like, there's not really a lot of thinking that goes into it. It's just all like muscle memory and second nature. Just you know, when I get my hands on, I'm taking, trying to take him to the ground. And how much it kill you when he escapes your grasp? <sighs> oh, it kills you. <laughs> yeah, def you definitely. Uh, uh, it definitely makes you tight for sure.